What's up, everybody? Got a trip report for you today. Really quick before we get into that, I did change my name if you've seen me before. It came to me a little while ago. It just felt right. I figured might as well change it now. Well, the channel's still kind of young. Anyway, um, so I got a trip report for you today. Um, I think how I'm going to do this is I'm going to tell you a little bit about the trip and then I'm going to go into the integration that I had in the following couple of months after that. Uh, this was a few months ago. So I took five and a half grams of Lizard King mushrooms. I grew some Lizard King mushrooms and um, lovely strain, by the way, I took four grams in the tea form I extracted it into like a, a tea and that's kind of like what I do when I take high doses it like avoids the nausea and if you mix it with chamomile tea I know that sounds weird but it helps with the come up anxiety like huge it like really calms you down and I don't know it just gets me in surrender mode it helps me out a lot so I took four grams in the tea and then I started off just taking one dry gram because I kind of am funny like I feel like I should have like the, the whole mushroom body like in me. I know like that sounds weird but it just feels right to have it eat at least some of it and it lasts longer when you eat some of it too. So I took five grams at first. Well first I took the four grams in the tea and then I took the one gram of dried weight after that and I was laying in bed I was waiting for it to hit I had the sound frequencies on and like nothing was happening too much at first and I would like normally when you drink tea it takes 30 minutes to like really start hitting you you know like it, it, it feels like a big wave that's coming right for you and uh, especially if you just drink it down really fast, it hits like all at once. This wasn't happening for me this time. I was feeling some type of way about it. <laughs> I, I hadn't tripped in like a, at least a couple of months before then. So it wasn't like I had a tolerance to it or anything, but it was just like, I don't know, the ceiling was kind of moving slightly. Like I really wasn't getting much of a visual or body high you know, it was really mild. So then I took another half gram of dried weight and, um, and then I laid back down and I thought, okay, I'm going to try some breathing exercises, some, some square breathing exercises, get like, you know, the DMT going in my lungs a little bit or something, you know? And, um, so I started like breathing and meditating and then it was like, Boom, I got like transported to the, the pyramids of Egypt or something. It was like it, the vision, the, the cause it shows you behind the eyes and like ev everything in my closed eye visuals was like hieroglyphics with this strain. It had like an ancient tone to it. And um, just like pyramids and serpents there was so much happening at once that i couldn't process it and then i heard it say something which for me felt kind of odd for having like these sound frequencies on because normally i need like pure silence for it to like really speak and um but it said one thing and it 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 i know i i think this is what it said because it was almost like there was like a bad connection like um it sounded like uh like a call that was dropping or something um like very like staticky it sounded like it said um i am your father's diary it, it's very it's a very odd mushroom I just remembered I had a like pad and like paper and a pen like next to my head that I had put there like um, earlier before if I, I've never like written anything down about my trips before so I really wanted to start doing this but I, I completely forgot that I even put it there. I went picked it up and I figured I'd try to write even though it was getting really intense here. I wasn't even sure if um, my writing was going to be legible. 
Um, but so I just wrote down in quotes right away. This has been a hang up of mine for a while where like I've I really want to try to I've been wanting to try to figure out what this is like what is all this what does it mean how does it fit into society how can it help society there's something really significant going on with these little fungi I really didn't want this trip to be about me like I wanted to be like about like whatever the mushroom wanted to do let's go with that it just felt like selfish to like just have this about me you know and so I, I wanted it to be about the mushroom and I, I like I want to learn about the mushroom and um and and what is it exactly and that was kind of like my intention for this trip and so then it hit me with the I am your dad's diary so then I'm thinking like okay like what could this possibly mean is it like I I was jumping to the conclusions that maybe it's it's saying that it is consciousness it is the thoughts that led up to me being born like I guess if my father had a diary which I don't think he did but let's say if he did I'm sure that like all of like you know it's filled with life experiences and your thoughts and feelings and you know it's about you and it's my father's diary would be the events that would have led up to my birth but you know like I said I'm not even sure if that's what the mushroom even said we had a bad connection at the time I had this thought where it's like is one strain different from the rest because this entity had like a really um a good aura like an ancient tone to it but like a really good aura to it like I felt like just peaceful to be in its presence like I, I wasn't it wasn't like scary it was intense and it was a lot happening at once and I couldn't process it before it moved on to the next but um it just it, it's just like it just wants to show 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 like Jedi mind fuck that feels like a like a like you're being tampered with like like you're like a spiritual violation like it's it's not pleasant for me you know and so it's like certain entities like certain mushroom strains have certain feels to them so i start having the thoughts like is one mycelium strain different from another strain and like is it like why is it that is it is it a different organism altogether or is it like is it just how different strains react with me but it's like it's just psilocybin and psilocin so why are they why do they have like different behaviors one from another for me okay this is for me i'm talking about here so then it starts showing me all these fractal examples of mycelium in nature so if you don't know what a fractal is it's like your hand is a fractal of your body your your two legs your two arms and your head this is actually spirit this you also are the five elements okay <clears throat> spirit or ether which spirit is made out of being the fifth that's up here so your hand is a fractal of the rest of your body right and um so that's just an example of like what fractals are and they happen in all areas and it's like as above so below so it happens like in on all different levels in all areas and different levels and it like will really make your brain hurt the more and more you think about this it was showing me so many different examples of like mycelium like behavior in nature just in reality in general <clears throat> i couldn't process it before it moved on to the next and i had a couple of them written down i said the fractal layers to this is astounding <laughs> oh anyway so um it's it was showing me like i could see like the like the my like the mycelium web of the internet kind of like that episode of fairly odd parents where i think it's jimmy he's like surfing through the internet and i was seeing like all these different connections of different things like a mycelium web and it was showing me like um 
like our our street system is like a mycelium network it's like the rivers and it was it was like i was looking at earth and i was seeing the streets and, I, and all the cars it's like transportation and communication that's what it is and and then it, you zoom out and you and it showed me like all the rivers and streams it, it's all connected it was showing me so many different examples of mycelium in nature it's kind of hard to like name them all um another one was it was like it kept zooming out so it it showed me um like the rivers and lakes how it's like connected connecting all this life with water and then you keep zooming out and it zoomed out and showed me like the big cosmic soup of um all like the little galaxy cluster when you're zoomed out that much it was like a big web of lights and like all these like clusters of galaxies basically zoomed way out in space like way out past everything and it all the universe is a mycelium web you're it was showing me the brain the neurons in your brain it's all works like mycelium it's information that is traveling from neuron to neuron through this mycelium network that is your brain and it started to show me the mycelium underneath the ground like the actual mycelium and how it connects all things and like how a, a tree can talk to its child like you know 20 feet over here um, like an apple tree can talk to its offspring communicate through its offspring through the mycelium network underneath the ground uh, different plants can communicate to each other through the mycelium network underneath the ground and they transport nutrients through this mycelium network like um, like a certain flower can say you know like I'm low on phosphorus and then like a tree off to the side could be like yeah I got you completely different species but they're communicating to each other through the mycelium network in the ground. It is the language of the forest. It's the language of nature. I think ultimately it was showing me that it is language. It is language incarnated in matter, like physical language in matter. It is, it is the language of everything around us. It is your, it, everything works like mycelium. It's all connected. And, um, I don't know it's like it's like the universe is just one big giant organism so then i started to get this eerie feeling in the midst of all these examples of mycelium in reality and i started to get this eerie feeling that is trying to tell me that this the spirit of the fungus is it is it us could it really be us you know D what does that mean does that mean that this consciousness was gifted to us through eating these mushrooms by these these ancient hominid groups um does it is it just the cosmic overmind and we're able to connect directly to this cosmic overmind the realm of mind that we are all tuned into in each state like we each have a station like i'm tuned into 99.6 my son's tuned in 99.7 and so on we're all tuned into a station in this big cosmic mind so is it just, is the mushroom the orchestrator of this consciousness or is it just a key to this, this realm of mind, right? And this entity um, of the subconscious. But anyway, yeah, I, is the spirit of the fungus dot, dot, dot us. I, and then I, I had to write a little silly smiley face there because I felt so stupid for like putting dot, dot, dot there. Like I was taking myself way too seriously. And then I had my eyes closed and I seen like these two lights to the left of me was like this bright blue light. And then to the right of me was like this bright red light and the red light I wasn't sure about for some reason I thought that it was like uh, like scary like evil or dark or like you think like red like I don't know if, like just like how our like culture is you think of like the devil or something but it just I thought it was I was skeptical and I was trying to, with my mind to make the blue overpower the red but because the red was overpowering the blue and then they kind of like balanced right 
and then but it, it scared me for a minute that i even had to like open my eyes and take a, a breath it started to get like real personal with me and it made it about me which i really didn't want to do but that's just how the trip was going it started to like go into like my potential and stuff and um it was visually picturing like what my future could be if I did this or did that and like different paths that I could go down. It was really, really wild. It was really personal. And, um, and then, yeah, after that, it was eventually, it was just the fading out after that. But in the following months during the integration process is where I really started to learn from this. It's like where, the integration is so important. Take time away from the microscope and go work on what you've seen, okay? I can't stress this enough. Take time away from the psychedelics. Take two, three, four, five months, whatever you have to do, and learn about the subject matter that your trip was on. Because if you really pay attention, it's like this cosmic overmind is showing us something that we need. You know, like that Rolling Stone song, can't always get what you want but you get what you need um so during this integration process i i was waiting for this book to come in it was this book on um alchemical esoteric knowledge it's called the book of wisdom by harry b joseph and you should really look into this book he uses syncretism in a way where he combines like all this alchemic hermetic esoteric knowledge into like this holy science this in this book and i there's so much good stuff in here like a lot of stuff that i had just started really looking into but there was stuff in there that i had never seen before one of the things that it was was it was talking about the left and the right brain and you have like the left brain is like the ego and the right brain is like the right hand of God. That's like our spiritual in nature because they said the pineal gland in the center is the throne of God. That's what the ancient alchemists believe. That's like what your spirit is, is like a piece of God, right? And uh, so it's like there is us, like the lower self, and then there is the higher self where we come from, where our consciousness comes from. Is where where it's where it's being streamed from. I, I I don't know. This is just what the book is talking about. And um, but it was really odd how this book came in like three weeks after my trip. And it was talking about the left and the right brain and how like the left brain is blue and the right brain is red and how this appears everywhere like in a lot of like advertisements uh police sirens you have like the the red the blue and then the white the spirit in the middle between the two sides of the brain like it, it's all over the place i don't really have all the examples on me right now then i thought about what i was looking at with the two lights with the blue light and the red light and how the red light was overpowering the blue light and i thought that that was bad like i i was freaked out by it but this book is talking about how the right brain is the right hand of god this is where the christ consciousness dwells okay and our animalistic nature or our nature of the flesh or of the ego is in the left side of the brain Another thing that it said about the right side of the brain is that the right side of the brain holds the subconscious and the right side is the feminine energy and the left side is the masculine energy. So the right side is the divine feminine. And I thought about how, why does this, why does the mushroom always like appear to be this feminine energy and it just kind of clicked it is the subconscious it is us that was the main deal about this whole trip is that the mushroom is us it is getting us in touch with ourselves or our higher self i believe that this is a possibility of why the ancient alchemists believed that the right brain was feminine because this mushroom has a huge focus on the feminine. I forgot to mention this during my trip, but I seen this woman like 
a few times in this trip and one time she was it looked like somebody like a like a, a, a she was beautiful but she looked like she was being like interviewed on the street and she was like laughing and smiling and i couldn't hear anything that either one of them were talking about but it was like a vision that i had of this woman another two times i seen this woman throughout my trip but it was in different forms but you could tell that it was the same woman one of the forms it was just like this light and it wasn't it it was um it was like a light body that had like it had like no hair or like the it wasn't it was like you could see the inside of it and it was full of lights the gender wasn't obvious but you could tell that this was the feminine energy and it was the same feminine energy that i had seen throughout my trip prior so all this focus on this feminine energy this focus is on the subconscious and that's what we're getting in tune with that is the divine the right hand of god that's where we need to be thinking from we need to be thinking from the right side of our brain we need to be thinking from the spirit and not the ego and that was like the main thing that i got out of this is that we need to be thinking with our right brain and i the more and more i'm i'm learning um about this esoteric and alchemical knowledge it seems like psychedelics really fit into all this it's like um like psilocybin is like pouring you know jet fuel on the pineal gland and maybe it's not spiritual for some but for me on on high doses it's something really spiritual it's something really special and it's something really divine for me and i think that that's what we're getting in touch with is the higher self through the subconscious and i think that that's what it was showing me through this trip and through the integration process following this trip anyway that's all for me today um, if you want to see more psychedelic content make sure you subscribe and i'll be putting more videos out um, i got some lsa i extracted i might do a trip report on that after i take it i still haven't tried it yet this is either where we document you know my my psychedelic experiences and ideas or where we document my slow descent into insanity who knows i'll see you next time take it easy